Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another Rugby Player Reacts to NFL video. But it's not NFL, it's actually college football. It's Joe Burrow, it's the 2019 Heisman winner. In the previous video we looked at his highlights from the season. Very impressive. I mean, he threw the ball on a dime. I didn't see a lot of running, but he only had about 300 rushing yards total, so what do you expect? I did see one run out of the pocket where he sort of uh, spun a guy that way, juked a guy, then got the ball off. Um, I think his size definitely gives him an advantage. Six foot four, I feel like he's definitely got a, a cool head on his shoulders. He comes from an athletic family. I mean, it all points to him having a fantastic NFL career, but he's not there yet. And you guys know, anything can happen when they hit the big leagues. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to actually cancel watching this 12 minute interview uh, before Alabama because really there's no point. It's already done. They bet Alabama. They both went in undefeated. LSU won. Sweet. They've gone through the whole entire season undefeated. Sweet. So what happens then? Well, it's, it's time for the Heisman. And uh, that's what we're going to watch today. So this is a video from December the 14th, which is two weeks ago. ESPN. I haven't subscribed. I probably should. Uh, LSU Tigers quarterback Joe Burrow wins the 2019 Heisman Trophy by edging out Oklahoma Sooners quarterback Jalen Hurts, as well as Ohio State Buckeye teammates quarterback Justin Fields and defensive end Chase Young. Burrow becomes the first LSU player to win the Heisman Trophy since 1959, and he gets emotional while thanking coach Ed Augeron his family and friends for helping him get this far. Let's do it. To announce the 2019 Heisman winner. winner and 85th recipient of the Heisman Memorial Trophy is Joe Burrow, Louisiana State University. Congratulations, LSU. <laughs> His dad was there every game, watching every one of those 48 passing touchdowns. Mm, congratulations. <laughs> ah, good shit. Fucking hell, he's got a few people there. He must have had a whole road dedicated to him. Big boy too, six foot four. Joe, say hello to your new friend for life. Give, give Mr. Hasman a lift here. Oh, Thank you. shivers, man. Oh, look at that. Well, this is awesome because I've never seen a Heisman Trophy presentation and it's a first for everything. Here we go. I need to know who won it last year. Actually, let me think. Was it Lamar Jackson? And then before that, was it? No, Kyler Murray. Oh, Lamar Jackson won it in 2016. That's right, it wasn't his rookie season this year. Uh, look at all these names. Let's start in 2010. Cam Newton. We know him. Robert Griffin III, we know him. Johnny Manziel, know him. James Winston, don't know him. Marcus Mariota, know him. Derek Henry, definitely know him. Lamar Jackson, know him. Baker Mayfield, Kyler Murray, haven't really looked at a lot of Kyler Murray. And Joe Burrow. Wowee. Whew. Uh, you know, I think the first thing... I want to say is what mate I, I, I would have started crying before I even got up there man you're doing well you're doing well I want to thank my old line first 
I think I mentioned something about that. I thought, you know, he's got to have a decent O-line, right, to be getting all these passes off. Is that Tim Tebow? Are these previous winners? Like Chase, uh, Chase, what a legend! These guys have been unbelievable this year, and I couldn't have, couldn't have done it without them. I got so many weapons on the outside: Terrence, Jamar, Je Terrence Jefferson, Jamar, Chase, Justin. I mean, those guys have been unbelievable. All all of my teammates have have supported me, welcomed me with with open arms. Kid from Ohio, coming down to the Bayou and. And welcome me as brothers, and it's been so awesome. I want to thank the the Heisman people for a great weekend. Thank you for for allowing me to be here, and as well as my family. And it's it's an honor to stand on the same stage as, as all of you guys. It's, I grew up watching most of you. Ah, uh, okay, that's Tim. I was like, all these guys look quite old, except for these two, and I I know who they are now. Tim Tebow, and Johnny Manziel. It, it's just an honor to be on the same stage eat dinner with you guys. It's been so awesome. And you've all been so kind to me. My parents, the like like Tom said, my, my dad first time in fifty one years that he wasn't a a player or, or a coach and him retiring this year has been you know, a dream come true for me and my family. He was able to go to every single game, that's why he did that. Uh, my brothers in the audience, my, my mom. And I'm just so thankful for for LSU and Ohio How State. How proud would you uh, be? Playing at two of the, the best programs in the country. Great coaches both places. It's, uh, my, my journey, I wouldn't have traded it for for anything in the world. You know, I think the the story of this, this Heisman Trophy with me, Justin, Jalen, and Chase, we have three transfers who, who've all had different stories. Uh, three great players and you know, both of those guys have, have pushed through adversity. It's awesome hearing their stories and, and sharing this this weekend with them. I just I tried to leave a legacy of hard work and, and preparation and loyalty and dedication everywhere I go. And I, I'm, I'm surrounded God, that would be intense being up there looking at all these people staring straight back at you. Honestly, I don't know if I could do it. People that make that so so easy. Great strength coaches. But you would, man, because he's been a leader throughout the whole entire year. He's confident in his ability. He knows who he is. And so he can stand up there with his head held high. Coach Mick That's is the, the difference. My strength coach from, from Ohio State. And, and Coach Moffitt is, is watching from home. And they've made me a great person and, and a great player and, and so much better because of them. Yeah, Joe. Go, Joe. Coming from from southeast Ohio, it's it's a very very impoverished area, and the the, the poverty rate is almost two times the the national average. And there's so many people there that, that don't have a lot. And I'm up here for all those all those kids in Athens and in Athens County that you know go home to. Not a lot of food on the table. Hungry after school. You guys can be up here too. I'd like to thank. Good call, mate. That'll inspire a lot of people. Louisiana, the entire state. Like I said earlier, just just a kid from Ohio coming down chasing a dream. And the entire state has welcomed me and my family with, with open arms and, and invited us in to, to be native Louisianians. I've, I've learned to, to love crawfish and gumbo. And, you know, during crawfish, during crawfish season, we, Coach O makes sure we, got, we have pounds and pounds and pounds of crawfish during that year. Um, Coach O.
You have no idea what you mean to my family. Bro, that bond between player and coach in college football would be incredible, man. Nothing like anything I've ever experienced. The brotherhood, man. You just see how many people he shook hands with before he went up there? And every one of them cares about him so much. I mean, yeah. It's the same as rugby, you know, but there's no nights like this in, in, in rugby that I know of. I didn't play for three years. You took a chance on me. He didn't play for three him. years, guys. If I could play or not. What a story, man. And I'm forever in your... Forever grateful for you. Can you imagine a guy like Coach O giving me the keys to to this football program? He just means so much to me and my family. And to LSU, I sure hope they give him a lifetime contract. He deserves it. <laughs> Joe, Coach Steve, Coach Munoz, all here. It's like a second dad, really, isn't it? You know, you guys have helped me so through so much. Understand the game, putting so much on my plate that some of these boys wouldn't even have dads. Coach, the coach, the football coach would mean everything. I couldn't, couldn't ask for a better group of coaches. Help me be successful. So thank you to everyone, everyone here. I've, there's so many people that that I should thank, and I, unfortunately I just don't have the time. But those people know what they mean to me and my family. And so when I when I lift this trophy again, it's for LSU, Ohio State, Southeast Ohio, and and all of Louisiana. Thank you. Lift it, bruh. Lift it up. ESPN <laughs> oh my god that nine minutes just went like that I thoroughly enjoyed that he had my attention he was engaging he was emotional and I mean what can you expect I mean this guy with his story even just last year you know it wasn't the best year but to come back this year and just play as well as he did I mean his receivers his O-line they all worked together and, and went through an unbeaten season so guys I really enjoyed that I hope you guys did too it was two weeks ago now, and uh, we've just we've just gone past Christmas. So, what an early Christmas present for Joe Burrow that was. But we're going to leave it there. That's it. So JJ, you're the one that recommended Joe Burrow for, to me. Uh, if it wasn't for you hitting me with all these LSU things every week, you know, I apologise. I don't watch them all. I don't get back to you every time. But I knew that I was going to do these videos, and so I really hope you enjoy. And I hope all you other guys out there do too. So. That's what this is about. It's about having fun. Uh, it's about me learning as much as I can about this sport. I'm still into it. And I'm always going to be because there's nothing boring about it. You know? <laughs> I respect athletes. I respect coaches. I respect the game because I know how much it means to people. And I know this is not my story, but for kids out there who don't have anything, and this is everything that they're, they're, they're shooting for, you know. They don't have any job prospects. They haven't got educated. They don't have the money to get educated. They're in poor areas, you know. Their friends are into drugs and alcohol and all that other stuff. And they've got football as the key, the key to a future and the key to life. And it's amazing. So I'm going to stop here. And I'm going to say if you have enjoyed this video, if you have enjoyed the series of videos, hit the like button. Uh, it always supports. And, um, you know, if you want to subscribe and become one of my amazing subscribers please do but if you don't want to subscribe then at least like the video because that means every time that you scroll through your news feed you'll see videos of mine come up and uh, well that's what we're here for so without further ado I'm gonna say good night have a fantastic festive season and I'll see you on the next one peace out wow.
Yeah, swear to God I'm with it I don't see nobody in my lane It's quite go get it Like me, whoa Please don't be wasting my time with that business 